Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to show you how to enable and turn on Apple Pro Raw to take raw photos with your iPhone 12 Pro or iPhone 12 Pro Max. Let's get started. Now in order to enable the Apple Pro Raw feature on your iPhone, you do need to have an iPhone 12 Pro or iPhone 12 Pro Max. You also need to make sure that you are updated to iOS 14.3. So we're going to open our settings, tap general, tap software update, and it should search for the update. And when you're prompted, install iOS 14.3. If you've already got this, then you can just skip ahead to this next step. If you don't know how to update, there's a link in the description. I'll show you how. Moving back to the first page of the settings application, we're now going to scroll down and find the camera application here. So we see camera, we'll tap on that, and we're going to tap formats. Now, as you can see, a new option has appeared. It's called Apple Pro Raw, and it's for the photo capture. And we'll just go over this little description here. So when enabled, it's going to show camera controls for Pro Raw. ProRAW is a 12-bit file that uses linear DNG format to retain more information and dynamic range in the file, providing additional flexibility when editing, exposure, and white balance. And keep in mind here, each file is approximately 25 megabytes. So that means they're pretty big files for a photo. Now that we have it enabled, let's open our camera application here. And right off the bat, when you're in your photo option, you can see we have a little raw feature or setting right there and we can easily tap on it to enable it and now we can just take our photo like normal now when you take this photo when it's in raw it's going to be that larger 25 megabyte size you can always turn it off by just tapping to disable it and taking your photo as well now when you edit your photo the raw photo you will see a raw icon appear at the top you do have your editing options within the photos app as well but when you pull this up on a computer like a mac i'll show you on screen a different viewer is going to open on your mac and it's going to give you a whole bunch of different editing options with exposure contrast highlights and a whole bunch of editing options that you can utilize with this and just to show you here you can definitely see this is much larger than a traditional photo which would come in at maybe two or three megabytes this one here is almost 25 megabytes so once again if you want to enable this feature it's done in the camera settings you can see it right here if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments below if you enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe to the channel for more videos like this click the bell notification box and if you're looking for more great iPhone 12 tutorials tips and tricks there's a link in the description to the full playlist so check it out to learn more as always, there's a link to the Patreon campaign if you want to help support the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.